Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So, looked at the um, email last night and we got a notification that YouTube took down this video from YouTube. And, and this was actually the time we went live when all this was happening on YouTube. It's still up on Rumble, so you can still see it there. Uh, everything is still up over on Patreon as always. Um, one thing that we wanted to note about Patreon as we've we've had Patreons that have shifted and, and gone to different uh, levels. At, uh, at the highest level of Patreon, it does include uh, one session a month with Cindy and I. And then uh, there's also the uh, second highest level, which has a, a 15 minute uh, energy clearing that comes with it. So we do uh, have a lot of regular clientele and we have worked on uh, energetically and with spiritual coaching, Vedic astrology charts, uh, it, probably thousands. I would say in the thousands uh, since we've been doing this uh, together uh, all, all around the world, uh, every continent but the Antarctica absolutely um that is really uh the thing that we focus on besides the videos is 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 the helping people in whatever way we can with whatever skills and abilities we have mm -hmm. and working with their skills and their abilities and helping them find them helping them understand them helping them tease them out and hone them you know because this is just what we're doing we're evolving we're learning we're understanding and you know time or not time but distance has no play in it at all i mean the and i'll say the quantum nature of things because i don't think anybody really understands quantum to that high of a degree it's just it's amazing because we can reach people and feel people and work on people from a distance and it doesn't matter we are still using our energy bodies to work on the other energy body and creating healing inside of that energy field which in goes to the actual body i mean it's just amazing stuff yeah it's quantum entanglement um and it, it's very very real and here this is the uh the event and you see the american flag here and what you see right here is what many people are talking about uh, a ufo looks to be kind of typical saucer shape at the uh 45 event you know there was another one that he did that we caught and talked about years ago uh it was an another rally and you could clearly see uh what we'll call a ufo a uap you know this is is really it's part of disclosure it really is part of disclosure this is uh, something that was taken by an airline passenger you see going on by. We're not alone. Uh, there's not an impenetra impenetrable dr dome over our heads that nothing can get through. Um, again, uh, what the Earth is encapsulated in is, is a semi-permeable membrane of sorts. Think of a cell. Again, this is the axiom as above, so below. Here you see something going by by the wing of an airplane. You know, the reality is most people have seen things. They don't even realize that they're not uh, typical things. I think we've probably all had something that's passed our line of sight at some point in time uh, that is, quote unquote, unexplainable by normal means. We've shown this video. This was back home in the desert. And what, what happens here is a ship goes by and scanning the ship, uh, we can see this is a regular patrol of uh, draconian forces. These are the forces that really do uh, control the planet. None of it's paranormal. Yeah, it's right when I'm saying none of it's paranormal. No, I wasn't drunk. It was on quarter speed, but you can see how fast this goes by at quarter speed. None of it's paranormal. It comes up from behind the mountain. Yeah, and it comes up from behind the mountain. So you'll get people that are part of the control system uh, that are paid to go and debunk things. This is part of their job. And they'll come on and they'll say that was just a bug. That was just a moth. 
none of it's pair. But the reality is, no, it's not paranormal. It's just simply other beings, and these beings happen to control this planet. When you look throughout history, because people will, will try to debunk it because it's very uncomfortable for some people to realize that we're not alone. In fact, we're actually being controlled. Uh, everything you see, the real control system is not terrestrial. This has been going on for time immemorial. This is a Japanese painting. Uh, again, this is several hundred years old. And you can see what, again, looks pretty much classic saucer-ish. There's cave paintings uh, from thousands of years ago. There's medieval art, 1400s UFOs in the background. I mean, it, it, the UFO, this is 1710, the baptism of Christ. A saucer beaming down on the event what they're doing is these in some cases they're channeling uh, and in other cases you know they're just blatantly putting it out there that you have been told everything is available to you um, but many people will just mentally de deny it because they can't handle it it just shakes their whole uh, their whole paradigm to the root We've shown this one so many times. This is one of my favorite ones. The Annunciation, 1486. A UFO hidden in a cloud, beaming down a beam of light with a little dove here going into the crown chakra of Mary. Uh, here you have an official of the church talking to a being that's supposed to be like an angel with wings. Uh, yeah, the whole paradigm that these these are just demons, there are no extraterrestrials, that is, again, the control system narrative. That's what you had to believe or you would have been put to death in the Middle Ages. You would have been put to death. That, that would have been grounds to burn you uh, to, you know, in one way, shape, or form, get you to leave your body. <laughs> you know, because you were going against church doctrine. And now it's fashionable to go with the medieval church doctrine. And, but, and what people are recognizing is there's something wrong. There's something hidden. There's something that doesn't make sense. Like, I love this one, too. I mean, you got little guys flying by in ships, and you have angels. That tells you, again, there's, there are angels. Absolutely, angels are a reality. There are demons. Uh, and there are extraterrestrials, there's interdimensional beings, and what is it with their butts having mouths? <laughs> oh, he's talking out his butt. Maybe that's where it came from. Maybe they literally did, and, and somebody, one demon did that, and then that saying was born. He was talking out his arse, you know? I don't know. I don't know what it is with the bottom speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it literally is talking out of his arse. <laughs> he is, he is. Again, this is St. Wolfgang and the Devil, 1471-1475. It goes on and on and on. You know, there's, there's so much overwhelming evidence. In millions of pieces of evidence. I bet you it, it's that high when you look at it. So, you know, a saucer checking out significant historical events in, on Earth at this period of time because... Again, time itself is an illusion, which is necessary for our brains to function in this reality in the linear fashion that they appear to, to function. When, no, in, in reality, uh, everything is, is not as it seems. And that's part of what this time period is all about. It, it's about letting people know, hey, you know, it has been an illusion. You've been deep asleep. You've been, you know, in the darkest of dark ages, you've never been alone. You have never been alone. Uh, many have been watching. Many have been participating. And in fact, your whole paradigm has been created by extraterrestrials and, and interdimensional beings. So this was a fireball illuminating New York City. Sky passes directly over the Statue of Liberty. Uh, was that purposeful? Reports flooded in. Uh, there was a sonic boom or something like a sonic boom. Of course, the Never a Straight a Answer Agency, um, you know, again, credited it to a meteor. Nothing to see here. Other people are thinking, you know, it might be a military jet in these times. That would not be surprising at, at, at all. Um, as well, the, the number of sightings is uh, just definitely rising everywhere. 
Here you see military exercises over New York City, same time as a loud boom. And, and people never think to con connect you know, these meteor events with military events and UFO sightings because you know, many times this is all part of one big thing. Many times you'll have ETs that are not the control system poking around, looking. Some of them are not aligned with any particular agency. They're just doing their own thing and they're just curious and they get shooed away. Other times, yeah, there, this, there is a bigger war underway, a much bigger war, and it's a multidimensional war. And yeah, you know, sometimes ships do get destroyed and, and you will see uh, debris coming down to the ground and it'll be again covered up by, oh, that was just a meteor. Oh, that was a Russian rocket. Oh, that was a Chinese rocket. Oh, that was North Korea again. Oh, gosh, they're really good at their cover ups. They have a whole think tank of people ready to, at the just at the ready period to come up with ideas in case something slips out or in case something doesn't make sense or in case something someone says something. They're very, very busy, you know, playing cover up, covering up those tracks so that people that are in mainstream are not able to really make the connections or they're just too busy. So they, they hear, you know, what the military is telling them. And they just go with it because they don't have time to sit and take a closer look or go within and say, you know, that just didn't seem right. They got to carry on with their day because they do have stuff to do. But that's all very deliberate. You know, you have to want to wake up. You have to want to know the truth. And, and unfortunately, I'll too many times it it does come with a tragedy in somebody's life or an extreme hardship that makes you want to wake up and then you find yourself without a whole lot of support so the controllers they know all this stuff that's old hat to them yeah so nasa is estimating that the meteor passed by the area at the same time the military exercises were going on and you know simultaneous meteor military activity it could be what happened no chance that they weren't shooting at something. No, no chance that somebody wasn't shooting at something. Uh, you know, again, sometimes things are so obvious, so right in our faces, but we've been so conditioned not to see them or to just ignore them because, again, it changes our paradigm. But, you know, humanity is in for a rude awakening for those that are sound asleep to this because, again, we ourselves are multidimensional beings. You, you have the Grouch thing going on, again, just clear statements, Congress involves U.S. recovered non-human biologics. This has happened more than once. Uh, yes, the military is holding on to many different ships that didn't come from this planet. You have Haima Shed over in Israel, you know, at a high a level as you can in the military over there, uh, formerly saying, yeah, aliens exist. In fact, the Galactic Lack of Federation is a reality, you know, and Trump almost let it slip, so so to speak, yeah. And yet, Paul Hillier, we could go on with, you know, dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of people that were in uh, very, very high places that, that have come right out and told people. But, you know, again, you have two-thirds of the world that is is in a paradigm where that just shakes their, their foundational belief system, uh, but that is changing, and you know I don't think it's too many more years left, uh, if if even that much time uh, before we have complete acknowledgement. You have all these anomalies on Google Maps too. How about this alien in face in, in Antarctica? Note the face. Note you know exactly what that looks like. When we asked a uh, really gifted uh, psychic lady that does um, these. She has a method for seeing what spirits look like and involves crystals in a bowl, uh, a metallic bowl with water, and she can get visions of certain entities. I asked her to do this, and can you get an, an, uh, vis a, a, a visual um, on Enki? And this is the top left, what came through. And so, you know, this is Allison from over in the UK, who is very gifted. Look at Enki's wearing a cloak. Yeah, in fact, it looks like papal robes. In fact, he's got a pointy hat on, just like the Pope has. See the eyes, see the nose, see the little mouth. Look over to the face in Antarctica. Does that not look similar? Uh, in fact, 
It looks extremely sim similar. Yeah, by the way, this video wasn't eligible for monetization. No, because they don't want us talking about these things. And yeah, the Islamic uh, concept of a jinn. This is a jinn. This is something we have captured. Um, you know, I was just making a video, didn't even realize it was there. We were talking, and Cindy and I are having a conversation while I'm filming this. It wasn't until afterwards when we played it back that somebody pointed out to us, you know, you got a, a, a being that looks like it's made of fire. And the reality is all these animals were killed. Uh, they were all slaughtered at the same time as this being showing up on the video that we captured. Yeah, there, there's a lot more to this planet than most people are going to be comfortable with realizing. Well, that was, that was really disturbing and such a wake-up call, you know, because Mike and I were trying to get the truth out there. We're trying to help people understand really what's going on. And actually, after those animals were slaughtered, the police came to our door wanting to accuse Zeke of doing it. And Zeke is probably one of the sweetest, gentlest animals I ever met on the planet. And, and there's no way we would let him, let him out of our sight ever, 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 ever. But it did feel very harassing. And when the police came to the door, they were like taken over. They were zombies. They were blank. They were just, it's like they really, truly were puppets. And that was my first 3D experience when it comes to being uh, involved with the situation where I knew that there was reptilian, draconian forces involved that were controlling humans that were, were trying to you know, harm us, bring us harm, bring our animals harm. I mean, this second level harassment is a thing. Y you know, yes, you do have to be responsible for your own actions. And we are. Zeke did nothing. Zeke didn't leave our sight. But we were, you know, very in a very uncomfortable position telling this police we should not... <laughs> 12 animals they were slaughtered i mean that's crazy it was really a horrible experience and those gin are very real absolutely so as always guys embrace nature ground and root keep your own frequency high because we are absolutely in spiritual battle with demonic forces and it's just that the demonic forces have have hidden themselves in such a way that they have us much much of humanity is is either directly or indirectly giving them power uh giving them energy giving them authority in fact putting their own um their own will away and asking that the demonic will be done you, you got to realize what you're saying you have to realize what you're doing and again the biggest control on the planet is really through the religious ideologies and you know it is um it is out there that we should always uh be very tolerant of different religious beliefs absolutely you know absolutely but Again, we can never condone any sort of uh, violence or any sort of aggressive action. And the system does do that constantly. And, and it hides behind uh, the illusion that it creates. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.